Today we're going to be talking about cross-tab queries and don't be alarmed if you've never heard of this before, it's okay. <laughs> all right, so a cross-tab query, first of all, it's a special type of query that allows a database user to display the data in a more compact way than a normal select query. In the same way that we use pivot tables in Excel to display the data in a slightly different manner. So I'm going to show you the difference by looking at a normal query and then creating a cross-tab query. So I'm going to go and create a normal query, just create, I'm going to go to my query wizard, a simple query, and they want me to add title, genre, and year. All right, nothing much changes there. And they want me to save it as, let's go search genres per year. Okay. So that's fine. There we see I've got my normal um, query. I can go into design view and I'm happy with all of that. You can see uh, that with my genre, I can go and put in a criteria like action, run my query, and now I get all the action titles. Okay, so we're happy with that. It's a normal query. Now let's go and create our cross tab query. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go up to the create tab. We're going to go to queries and instead of using the query wizard, we are going to use query design. And then under my query type group, I'm going to click on cross tab. Okay, so that it knows I'm dealing with a cross tab query. Now the first thing you'll see is that I've got this section on the right hand side this adding tables here and also when i look at some of the criteria and some of the information um, down here in my properties you can see i've got a cross tab and i've got a total section that's come up there as well so just bear the following in mind that with my cross tab query each one of these queries must specify three things number one a row heading field this is a field that will be the first column to serve as the row labels a secondly column heading field which is a field that will serve as the column headings for each row and then a value field and this is the field whose values will be summarized in those rows and columns and this is where we're going to use like count average maximum whatever the case is so for the purpose of our example um, they want us to use and add uh, the movie table so I'm going to go up here to tables. I'm going to click on movie because that's really the only table that's in this database. And I'm going to say add. Now what's going to happen? They want me to add year, genre, and the title fields. So yeah, I've got my fields. Yeah, I can see the table that it's coming from. And with each one it's saying group by but we're going to leave that for now we want to go to cross tab and look what happens when i click on that down arrow what are those three rules i, I mentioned all right three things that the cross tab query must contain so they tell us that the year field that uh, must be the row heading the genre field must be the column heading and our title um, we want that to be the value okay also um, with title, we just need to group it by count because that is the formula that we want in there. Okay. And when we are done with that, we can click run. And there you can see my cross tab query. So you can see now if I go into the design view, you can see if we go and we analyze this now, the field was year. That was to be the row heading. So we're looking at the years over here. And you can see for 1986, there was one action, one fantasy. Do you see how it's just displayed in a different way? The genre then becomes the column heading. So here are my column headings going here. All right. And then obviously I've got my value. And we can see all of that. So all it's done is to really take this information that we had here in our table 
and you can see what it looked like initially um, and now it's displayed it in a completely different manner but in a way that I can read it a lot easier. And that's my crosstab query.